In past decades, static stretching was believed to be an effective modality to reduce injury risks. But as time changes, so does our current understanding of what static stretching does and does not do for our athletes. So let's see what the science says. Injuries occur when tissues are exposed to forces that are too high for them to handle. Forces can be too high because one, the tissue is simply not strong enough for it. Two, the mechanics of the movement does not position the tissue favorably. Or three, a combination of both. In theory, static stretching could help reduce injury risks by improving joint mobility. Increasing a joint's range of motion allows for more favorable positions to load muscles for maximum force production and absorption. However, increasing joint mobility alone is not enough as female athletes must also be strong in these positions to dissipate forces. So, what is an athlete to do? Although static stretching prior to training used to be the norm, this modality is highly ineffective. Stretching restricts blood flow, the opposite of the desired effect prior to training. Even more, this modality can lead to reductions in subsequent high-intensity sport performance. Static stretching after training can help an athlete relax and feel less tight as it induces parasympathetic modulation. However, pulling on a muscle will not induce any long-term changes to the tissue that will allow for a greater capacity to tolerate forces, meaning stretching after training will not reduce future injury risks. Fortunately, there is one modality that not only helps improve joint mechanics, but also improves tissue strength. In 2018, researchers concluded strength training is a superior, dose-dependent, and safe prevention of acute and overuse injuries. In fact, strength training reduced sport injuries to less than one-third and overuse injuries by almost one-half. Even more, stretching was the only modality study that provided zero changes in injury reduction outcomes, making static stretching obsolete. Remember, improved mobility is only beneficial for reducing injury risks if there is strength within that new range of motion. Static stretching alone is not enough to reduce the chance of injuries, but fortunately, strength training is. This is Relentless Athletics, bringing the female athlete her best performance through science. If you like this video, be sure to like and share it. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more science on female athlete development, check out our website at relentlessathleticsllc.com.